Hey, I'm Andrea, and in this video, I'm going to talk about an idea I had to improve competitive balance in baseball. I just want to start by saying it's just a brainstorm. I didn't do any research to see whether or not this would actually work. It's just an idea I had that I haven't seen anywhere else. So if my goal was to improve competitive balance, I would introduce the idea of a win threshold and a loss threshold. So if teams get more than a certain number of wins over two consecutive seasons and exceed the win threshold, they would get a reward. And then similarly, if a team exceeds a certain number of losses over two consecutive seasons, they would face a penalty. And I chose two seasons instead of one season just due to the nature of some teams having bad years that were out of their control. So looking at this graphic, the reward for teams who place over the win threshold is focused on improving organizational talent and could come in the form of draft picks, slot money for the Rule 4 draft, or international money. And then that reward would vary based on market size, so smaller market teams that achieve the win threshold would earn more reward than larger market teams. And then the penalty can look similar in structure to the competitive balance tax, so meaning if a team exceeds the loss threshold, they get taxed a certain amount based on how many losses they accumulated over that threshold and based on market size, with smaller market teams facing less penalty than larger market teams. That tax money would then be put towards rewarding teams who exceed the win threshold. So for example, if a large market team exceeds the loss threshold by 30 losses, they're going to face a much harsher penalty than a small market team who's one loss over the threshold. So my goal with this system is to push teams away from the complete rebuild and tear down and closer to the sustainable model of winning. And we've seen that sustainable model of winning be used by teams like the Dodgers, the Yankees, the Rays are a great example of a small market team who uses it. All three of these teams are using similar strategies for success. So starting with strong amateur departments and then strong player development staffs, they're developing players in their system that are either going to contribute at the major league level or be traded away to other teams in return for players that could fill holes on their major league rosters. Then looking at the penalty, just some background. In the current system, if a team finishes towards the bottom of the league at the end of the year, the following year they're almost rewarded, in a sense, uh, by getting a high draft pick. The new CBA does attempt to minimize this by introducing a draft lottery for the first six picks, but I wanted to take it one step further by introducing a penalty to those teams. And the idea of the penalty is to just incentivize teams to improve rather than chase towards the bottom. Let me know what you think of this idea, and if you like this video, please hit subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Scalco Report. Thanks for watching!